Have you ever wondered what to do when she's playing mind games with you? We understand that it can be extremely frustrating. She appeared to be interested in you at times, but then she stopped paying attention to you entirely. It is not your fault. We understand that you believe it is, but do not worry. We can resolve the issue for you. Women prefer to play mind games because they enjoy them. However, you can turn the tables on her. By the end of this video, we'll show you how to destroy her ego in a matter of days. Number one, don't make it a big deal. Most guys make this mistake. Even though guys understand that if you are declined, you should not pursue it further, they still do. They believe that their desperation will yield actual results. It is completely delusional to believe that. Taking such actions will only result in disgrace. You will lose respect not only in her eyes, but also in those of your friends. When this occurs, your chances of dating a beautiful girl in the future are zero. Keep in mind that she owes you nothing. It doesn't matter how much you invested. You should have considered it before it occurred. Do not invest in her emotionally. Don't consider it a big deal, even if she initially flirted with you. People are allowed to flirt without it meaning anything. We understand that it can be very frustrating. It is even more hurtful when you have spent so much money on her. While it can be frustrating, you have to understand that she is not your wife. Number two, avoid being a friend. There is no reason for you to be a good friend. You are not looking for one in her. You don't want to be in the friend zone. Do not become a shoulder for her to cry on. You are under no obligation to do so. The only thing that matters is your core values. You must never let her disgrace you. You are responsible for your own respect. Do you want to remain friends with her while she dates other people? Do you want to be stuck with her for the rest of your life, knowing she has no feelings for you? Imagine that you propose to her, and after your proposal, she doesn't say yes or no. Instead, she starts dating other people while keeping you in the loop. There is nothing worse than that. Not only will your mental health deteriorate, but you will also feel jealous. These feelings of jealousy can make you commit an act that you will most definitely regret. So before you get to that stage, you need to break off. We're not telling you to block her out of your life completely. Number three, give no choices. Do not give her any options. It's because you need to stop her mind games right away. So how can you stop giving her options? You can avoid giving her options by making plans. Most guys are indecisive. They go with the flow and say whatever comes to mind. That allows females to make excuses and gives them control over the entire conversation. When they control the conversation, they gain indirect power over you. So instead of making impulsive plans, make a solid one. Set a specific date, time, and location. You can also be confrontational with her. You can ask her what she has been doing you can ask her what the future looks like for both of you. If she starts making excuses or doesn't want to answer that question, walk away. There's no need for you to work for her. There's no need for you to keep begging for her attention. Instead of messaging her, call her on her phone. These actions will confirm whether she is playing hard to get or not. If she is, there is no need for you to be a part of her mind tactics. Number four, set some standards. Set high expectations for yourself. You are a man, and a true man does not limit himself to a single option. Granted, if you commit to one girl, you must keep your promises to her. However, if you're looking for different options, set high standards. Don't just date any woman. Date those who add value to your life. Most men choose women based on their appearance, which leads to their failure in life. That's when their problems start. They eventually realize they've made the biggest mistake of their lives. Women who think that they are gorgeous like to play these games. Such women have the mental age of a 13-year-old child. So if you want a woman who brings value to your life, set high standards. Talk to women who are above these cheap tricks. Be with women who are highly educated. Be with women who know what being a woman is all about. Be with a woman who is loyal to you. Number five, create more options. You should not be waiting around for someone who does not want to be bothered by you. Playing hard to get means she is simultaneously saying yes and no to you. It's nothing more than a mental tactic that will disturb your mental peace. So the first thing you should do is start dating other women. Create different opportunities for yourself and make sure that she knows about those opportunities. This trick is most effective when she is in your presence. 
Whenever she is in your presence, start talking to other women, start flirting with other women. You need to do it. You must let her know that your life has not ended just because she rejected you. You can find other women to date. The world is full of beautiful women who are more than willing to date you. So what if she turned you down? You can undoubtedly turn her down by dating other women. She might come around when she sees that you have an abundance of women in your life. Number six, find meaning in life. Try to find something meaningful in your life that transcends the superficial aspects of relationships. This quest for meaning goes beyond the scope of your romantic pursuits. It's about exploring the world around you and more importantly, understanding yourself on a deeper level. The reason she might be playing hard to get could be linked to the perception that you're a low value man. Perhaps in her eyes, she doesn't see you in the high regard that you deserve. The beauty of this situation is that you have the power to change that perception. Look inward, delve into your inner self, and discover qualities that are unique to you. Reflect on individuals who have found success in their dating lives. What sets them apart, and how can you incorporate those elements into your own persona? Building a spirit that's ready for any adventure is crucial. You must break free from the monotony of a mundane existence. Finding meaning in life isn't just a philosophical pursuit. It's a practical approach to understanding your purpose and recognizing your talents. Many individuals pass through life without a sense of direction, leaving behind little significance. Don't be one of them. Aspire to be someone special. Approach your daily routine with the mentality that each day is an opportunity for personal growth and fulfillment. Embrace the uniqueness within you and let it shine through in all aspects of your life, including your romantic endeavors. Number seven, pursue better goals. In the pursuit of a fulfilling life, it's crucial to continually strive for goals that go beyond the ordinary. Many individuals may think they have achieved everything within their lives, but in reality, the human potential to accomplish miraculous things is boundless. Understanding that the sky is not the limit is a key perspective to adopt. It's about shooting beyond the boundaries and reaching for what you were destined to achieve. Don't settle for a senior position at your company. Envision yourself as the CEO, leading the way with innovation and vision. Avoid confining your ambitions to a small shop in the city. Instead, dream of owning a massive mall in the capital, symbolizing the grandeur of your aspirations. Even when you achieve a goal, resist the temptation to become complacent or stagnant. Never stop aspiring for more. Make every day a struggle, a journey toward becoming a better human being. Embrace the challenges that come your way, for a hardworking man is not only admirable, but also inherently handsome. As you set and achieve these elevated goals, you'll notice a transformative shift within yourself. The feelings of confidence that arise will make you feel more robust, resilient, and ultimately undefeatable. This profound emotional change won't go unnoticed. She will sense it, but this time it won't only be her. Other women will also be drawn to the magnetic quality of a man who pursues his aspirations with determination and vigor. The allure of a purpose-driven life is an irresistible force that attracts not only success, but also admiration from those around you. Number eight, stay in her life. In order to exert a meaningful presence in her life and prompt a reevaluation of her actions, it is essential to adopt a deliberate and nuanced strategy. This approach is not about incessant engagement, but rather a calculated effort to subtly capture attention and break down potential ego barriers. Here's a detailed breakdown of this sophisticated strategy. Strategically attending events where she is likely to be present is key. The goal is not to overtly seek her attention, but to make a memorable impact. Choose occasions wisely, aligning yourself purposefully with her social sphere. This strategic alignment increases the likelihood of catching her eye naturally. Once in these shared spaces, pay meticulous attention to your appearance. Dressing exceptionally well, slightly above the social norm accepted at the event, is crucial. This not only showcases your sophistication, but ensures you stand out, capturing her focus effortlessly. The visual impact of your refined attire subtly communicates your self-assurance and may contribute to breaking down any preconceived notions. In addition to impeccable dressing, engage in confident interactions with others. Ensure that your conversations are not limited to her, but extend to other attendees, particularly women. 
The strategic choice of conversing with more beautiful women subtly conveys that you are a high-value individual with diverse social connections. This move prompts her to reconsider any assumptions she might have made while playing mind games. By meticulously executing these strategic steps, you not only remain a fixture in her life but also create a lasting impression that challenges any preconceived notions she may have held. The goal is not to play into mind games, but to assert your worth and leave an indelible mark, prompting a shift in dynamics not only with her, but also within the broader social context. Cultivate a sense of calmness and adopt a lighthearted perspective. If she's engaging in mind games, remember, there are countless women on this planet. You have the freedom to choose someone who aligns with your desires. Refrain from participating in these games. There's no need to compromise your self-worth. Numerous women would be eager to share their time with you. Explore diverse and intriguing topics by watching the suggested video on the screen. Thank you for tuning in. Imagine a world where you are not just desired but deeply valued. A world where your presence is not just appreciated but sought after. This isn't a fantasy, it's a reality you can create. Today, we dive into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism to unlock seven powerful strategies that will transform how others perceive and value you. You don't need to chase others for recognition or validation. You hold the power to make them come to you, to make them realize your worth. But how? This is where the timeless principles of Stoicism come into play. Stoicism, a philosophy that dates back to ancient Greece and Rome, teaches us about resilience, control, and the importance of valuing oneself. So, let's embark on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Here are the seven Stoic strategies that will change your life. 1. Embrace self-sufficiency. In a world where we often look outside for approval and acceptance, Stoicism brings us back to an essential truth. True power comes from within. This ancient philosophy teaches that the cornerstone of a respected and valued existence is self-sufficiency. It's about cultivating a sense of self-reliance and confidence that is unshakable, regardless of external circumstances. Start by examining your daily life. How often do you seek validation from others? Whether it's through social media likes, compliments, or even just agreement in conversation, it's easy to become dependent on external approval. However, the Stoic path urges us to shift our focus inwards, develop skills, nurture passions, and invest in personal growth. When you're busy enriching your life from the inside, you naturally become less concerned with external validation. Building self-reliance also means taking responsibility for your emotions and reactions. It's about understanding that happiness and contentment are internal states, not something handed to us by others. This isn't to say that you should become emotionless or detached, but rather that you should cultivate an inner sanctuary of peace and stability that isn't easily disturbed by the outside world. Confidence, another key element of self-sufficiency, doesn't necessarily mean being the loudest in the room. It's about having an inner assurance in your capabilities and worth. It's the quiet confidence that comes from knowing you can handle whatever life throws at you, not because you rely on others to prop you up, but because you have developed your own inner strength and resilience. When you embrace self-sufficiency, people start to notice. They see someone who doesn't crumble under pressure, who doesn't constantly seek approval, who stands firm in their beliefs and values. This independence and strength are magnetic. It makes others not just admire you, but also value and respect you on a deeper level. Remember, self-sufficiency is not about isolating yourself or rejecting relationships. It's about building a foundation within yourself that is so strong, so resilient, that you are free to engage with others not out of need, but out of genuine desire and choice. It's about being your own anchor, and in doing so, becoming a beacon for others. 2. Practice Mindful Control Stoicism teaches us a vital lesson about the power of perception and reaction. The heart of this philosophy lies in distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. In a world full of unpredictability and external pressures, practicing mindful control becomes a beacon of strength and clarity. Start by examining the aspects of your life where you feel most stressed or anxious. 
Often these feelings stem from trying to control or influence things beyond our reach, the opinions of others, unforeseen circumstances, or the outcomes of certain events. The Stoic approach guides us to shift our focus from these external elements to our internal responses and actions. Mindful control is about being aware of your reactions to different situations. It involves taking a step back and observing your thoughts and emotions without immediately acting on them. This doesn't mean suppressing your feelings. Rather Rather, it's about understanding them and choosing responses that align with your values and principles. When you focus your energy on what you can control, your actions, your words, your thoughts, you start to cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability. This doesn't happen overnight. It requires practice and patience. But the reward is a life where external chaos doesn't disturb your inner calm. This calm and composed demeanor is not just beneficial for your well-being, it also has a profound impact on how others perceive you. When people see that you are not easily swayed by external events, that you maintain your composure in challenging situations, they begin to respect and admire you. You become a symbol of strength and resilience, someone who stands as a pillar of stability in an ever-changing world. Practicing mindful control also means recognizing the limits of your influence. It's about accepting that you can't control others' actions or thoughts, but you can control how you respond to them. This acceptance frees you from the exhausting pursuit of trying to please everyone or shape situations to your liking. As you embrace this practice, you'll find that your relationships improve. You become more patient, more understanding, and less reactive. This doesn't go unnoticed. People value those who can remain calm under pressure, who can listen without judgment, and who can offer wisdom without imposing their will. In essence, practicing mindful control is about cultivating a strong inner core. It's about building a life where your sense of peace and happiness comes from within, not from the ever-changing tides of external circumstances. It's a journey towards self-mastery, where you not only gain respect and admiration from others, but also develop a profound sense of self-respect. 3. Develop Unshakable Resilience in the Stoic philosophy, resilience isn't just a trait, it's a way of life. It's about facing life's challenges, not just with endurance, but with grace and courage. In a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable, developing unshakable resilience is the key to standing firm and maintaining your integrity. Begin by reflecting on how you currently handle adversity. Do you see challenges as insurmountable obstacles or as opportunities for growth? Stoicism teaches us to view difficulties as a proving ground for our character. It's in the midst of adversity that your true strength is tested and honed. Resilience is also about flexibility and adaptability. It's the ability to bounce back from setbacks and to adjust your course when necessary. This doesn't mean giving up on your goals, but rather being open to finding new ways to achieve them. It's about being like the sturdy oak tree that bends in the storm but doesn't break. Embracing resilience also means accepting that suffering and setbacks are part of life. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Ask, what can I learn from this? This shift in perspective is empowering. It transforms you from a passive victim of circumstances to an active learner and problem solver. When you navigate life's challenges with resilience, others take notice. They see someone who doesn't crumble under pressure, who faces adversity head on with determination and grace. This kind of strength and character is deeply valued and respected. You become a source of inspiration for those around you. Developing unshakable resilience also involves taking care of your mental and physical well-being. Regular exercise, healthy eating, and mindfulness practices like meditation can strengthen your resilience. Remember, a strong body and a calm, focused mind are your allies in facing life's challenges. Stoicism also emphasizes the importance of community and support in building resilience. Lean on your friends, family, or mentors during tough times. Sharing your struggles and seeking guidance doesn't make you weak. It makes you human and connects you with the shared experience of overcoming adversity. Finally, celebrate your victories no matter how small. Every time you overcome a challenge, you're building your resilience muscle. Acknowledge your growth and the progress you've made. This not only boosts your confidence, but also reinforces the message to others that you are someone who doesn't just endure, but thrives in the face of adversity. In essence, developing unshakable resilience is about cultivating a mindset that embraces challenges as opportunities for growth. 
It's about building a character that is admired and respected, a character that not only survives the storms of life but emerges stronger from them. Your journey of resilience is a powerful testament to your strength and an inspiration to those who witness it. 4. Cultivate Emotional Intelligence Stoicism, often misunderstood as the suppression of emotions, actually teaches the art of mastering them. Emotional intelligence is a pivotal aspect of this philosophy. It's about balancing logical thinking with emotional understanding, thereby becoming a beacon of stability and wisdom in a world often driven by impulsive reactions. The first step in cultivating emotional intelligence is self-awareness. Begin by observing your emotions without judgment. What triggers your anger, sadness, or frustration? Understand that emotions are natural responses, but they don't have to dictate your actions. It's not about denying your feelings, but about understanding them and responding in a way that aligns with your values and goals. Stoicism encourages us to practice the art of pausing before reacting. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to let emotions take the wheel. By learning to pause, you give yourself the chance to respond rather than react. This space allows for a more measured, thoughtful approach, which is often more aligned with your true intentions. Developing emotional intelligence also involves empathy, understanding and sharing the feelings of others. This doesn't mean you take on everyone's problems as your own, but rather that you approach situations with a sense of compassion and understanding. This empathy not only strengthens your relationships, but also enhances your ability to navigate social dynamics effectively. A key aspect of emotional intelligence is the ability to communicate effectively, especially in emotionally charged situations. It's about expressing your thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully, while also being open to listening to others. Effective communication fosters understanding and respect, which are essential in building valuable relationships. Emotional intelligence also means being adaptable and managing stress effectively. It's about maintaining your composure even in a challenging situations and adapting to changing circumstances with a calm and clear mind. This adaptability is a sign of strength and resilience, qualities that draw respect and admiration from others. In practicing stoicism, you learn to focus on rationality and logic, but this doesn't mean ignoring your emotions. Instead, it's about integrating your emotional and rational sides to make balanced decisions. This integration is at the heart of emotional intelligence. By cultivating emotional intelligence, you become a person others look up to for guidance and support. You become known for your calm demeanor, your ability to handle tough situations with grace, and your insightful understanding of human emotions. These traits make you a valued member of any community or team. In essence, cultivating emotional intelligence is about mastering the art of balancing your emotions with rational thought. It's about becoming someone who not only understands and manages their own emotions, but also navigates the emotions of others with empathy and wisdom. This journey towards emotional intelligence is not just about personal growth, it's about becoming a person of profound impact and value in the lives of others. 5. Live with Integrity Stoicism places a great emphasis on living a life of integrity. It's about aligning your actions with your core values and principles, creating a harmonious and authentic existence. Living with integrity is not just about being honest with others, it's about being true to yourself, a quality that naturally attracts respect and admiration. Begin by defining your core values. What principles are non-negotiable for you? These might include honesty, compassion, responsibility, or courage. Understanding your values is the foundation of living a life of integrity. It guides your decisions and actions, ensuring they reflect who you truly are. Consistency is key in living with integrity. It means your actions don't just align with your values when it's convenient or easy, but at all times. This consistency might not always be the easiest path, but it's the one that earns you trust and respect. People are drawn to those whose words and actions are reliably in harmony. Living with integrity also involves making tough choices. There will be times when standing by your values means going against the tide, saying no to tempting opportunities, or even risking popularity. However, these moments of challenge are where your integrity shines the brightest, setting an example for others. Transparency and honesty in your interactions are also vital. 
It's about communicating openly and owning up to mistakes. This authenticity builds strong, trust-based relationships. People value those who are genuine and straightforward as they create a safe and reliable environment. Integrity also means respecting others' values and beliefs, even if they differ from your own. It's about engaging with differing viewpoints respectfully, fostering an environment of mutual respect and understanding. Living with integrity is not a static state. It's a continuous process of self-reflection and growth. Regularly assess your actions and decisions. Are they in line with your values? Are there areas where you can improve? This ongoing process ensures that you stay true to your principles and continue to grow as an individual. The impact of living with integrity goes beyond personal satisfaction. It inspires others. When people see you living authentically and consistently upholding your values, they are motivated to reflect on their own lives. Your integrity becomes a catalyst for positive change in those around you. In summary, living with integrity is about being a person of your word in both actions and beliefs. It's about the courage to stand by your principles and the honesty to live authentically. This path of integrity not only earns you the respect and trust of others, but also provides a profound sense of self-respect and fulfillment. It's a journey that transforms not just how others see you, but how you see yourself. 6. Show Gratitude in Actions Stoicism teaches us to embrace our emotions, guiding them towards positive expressions. One of the most profound ways to do this is through showing gratitude in our actions. It's not just about feeling thankful but actively expressing it in meaningful ways. This sincere expression of gratitude and kindness, without the expectation of anything in return, can have a transformative effect on how others perceive and value your presence in their lives. Begin by acknowledging the small acts of kindness you experience daily. Whether it's a colleague helping you with a task, a friend listening to your concerns, or a stranger holding the door for you. Recognize these moments and express your gratitude openly. A simple thank you can go a long way in acknowledging the efforts of others, but showing gratitude goes beyond just words. It's about actions. It could be returning a favor, lending a helping hand, or just being there for someone. These actions demonstrate that you don't take kindness for granted and that you're willing to contribute positively to the lives of those around you. Stoicism encourages us to reflect on the positive aspects of our lives, including the people who have supported us. Consider writing a letter or a message to someone who has had a significant impact on your life, expressing your appreciation for their role in your journey. These heartfelt expressions of gratitude strengthen relationships and foster mutual respect. Gratitude is also about appreciating the present moment and what you have. It's easy to get caught up in what we lack or what could be better. By focusing on the positives, even in challenging situations, you cultivate a mindset of abundance and contentment. This attitude is infectious. It draws people to you and enhances the quality of your interactions. Remember, showing gratitude is not a transactional behavior. It's not about expecting something in return. It's a genuine expression of appreciation that comes from the heart. When people sense this sincerity, they feel valued and respected, which in turn makes them value and respect you more. Practicing gratitude also has a profound impact on your own well-being. It shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present, from what's wrong to what's right. This shift can dramatically improve your mood, outlook, and overall mental health. Lastly, showing gratitude in your actions is a powerful way to lead by example. It inspires others to adopt a similar attitude, creating a ripple effect of positivity and kindness. When you live a life marked by gratitude, you become a beacon of light in others' lives, a source of joy and appreciation. In essence, showing gratitude in actions is a vital stoic practice. It's about transforming your emotional energy into positive expressions that enrich your life and the lives of those around you. This practice not only makes others value your presence more, but also enhances your own experience of life, filling it with joy, contentment, and a deep sense of fulfillment. 7. Lead by Example In the heart of Stoic philosophy lies the principle of leading by example. It's about embodying the change you wish to see in the world. 
By becoming a living representation of Stoic principles, you not only transform your own life but also inspire those around you. Leadership in Stoicism isn't about authority or power. It's about influence and inspiration, grounded in personal integrity and virtue. Begin by asking yourself, what qualities do I admire in others? What kind of person do I aspire to be? These reflections will guide you in embodying those characteristics. Whether it's resilience, integrity, wisdom, or empathy, strive to incorporate these traits into your daily life. Remember, people are more influenced by what they see than by what they hear. Leading by example also means taking responsibility for your actions. It involves acknowledging your mistakes and learning from them. This transparency and humility show that you are human and relatable, making your leadership more authentic and impactful. Embrace the role of a mentor or a guide, whether in your professional life, among your friends, or within your family. Share your knowledge of Stoicism and its principles, not in a preachy way, but as a part of your lived experience. Offer advice when asked, and provide support and guidance based on your own journey of personal growth. Leading by example is also about showing strength in adversity. When you face challenges, approach them with the Stoic principles of resilience, emotional intelligence, and mindful control. Others will notice your approach and be inspired by your strength and composure in difficult situations. Practice what you preach. Consistency between your words and actions is crucial. If you advocate for honesty, be honest in all your dealings. If you speak of kindness, be consistently kind. This congruence builds trust and respect among those who look up to you. Remember, true leadership is not about being perfect. It's about being genuine, about striving for personal growth, and about being willing to help others grow as well. Share your journey, including the struggles and setbacks, as these are as important in inspiring others as your successes. Encourage those around you to embrace their own path of personal growth. Celebrate their achievements and support them in their challenges. Leadership is as much about lifting others up as it is about your own growth. In essence, leading by example is the ultimate expression of Stoic philosophy. It's about being a living testament to the values and principles you believe in. This approach not only earns you respect and admiration from others, but also fulfills a deeper purpose, contributing positively to the lives of those around you. As you walk this path, you become more than just a person to be valued. You become a source of inspiration, a catalyst for positive change in your community and beyond. Adopting these Stoic strategies doesn't just change how others see you, it transforms how you see yourself. You become someone of substance, someone who doesn't just exist, but profoundly impacts the world around them. You don't have to chase after anyone. Instead, they will come to you, recognizing the incredible value you bring to their lives. If you found these strategies insightful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Dive deeper into the philosophy of Stoicism and start shaping a life where you are not just seen, but truly valued. Remember, the journey to being valued starts with valuing yourself. Until our next video, embrace your inner strength and let your journey of self-empowerment begin. In a world full of challenges, setbacks, and obstacles, where times are more challenging than ever, now is the time for you to rise up and become the best version of yourself. This video will guide you through five essential masculine habits that will help you overcome your problems and live a more fulfilling life. It's far more than just another self-help video. It acts as a blueprint for a stronger and more resilient self. Let's dive in together and unleash your true potential. Stay tuned because today we're laying the foundation for your journey to become the man who is destined for greatness from birth. Number one, control your mind. When dealing with life's challenges, the first and most important step is to take control of your heart. Men often feel overwhelmed by their problems and complain. Not only does this undermine their masculinity, it also exacerbates their problems. A person's greatness depends on his ability to deal with problems effectively. And if you hesitate to deal with small problems, you will weaken yourself. Your mind is your most powerful weapon. Failure to control it can lead to self-inflicted problems because your thoughts determine your actions. Remember, if you don't control your mind, it will undoubtedly control you and lead you to develop destructive habits and unproductive activities. 
Mindfulness is the key to controlling your thoughts. By focusing on the present moment and accepting your feelings and thoughts, you gain control. This is not a quick fix, but a necessary practice. Understand that your thoughts are powerful and can both create and destroy. Take charge, for your life's trajectory depends on it. Number two, exercise daily. Train every day. Exercise is the secret weapon that can change your life. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling good and becoming mentally sharper. Daily exercise is a powerful habit that can help you overcome problems and achieve your goals. When you exercise, you not only take care of your physical health, but also improve your mental clarity. Many seemingly insurmountable problems can become solvable with good training. Exercise releases endorphins, oxygenating your body and clearing your mind. This kind of physical activity isn't limited to the gym. A simple brisk walk or a quick home workout may be enough. The key is consistency. When you incorporate exercise into your daily routine, you'll find that many of the problems that once troubled you now become easier to solve. You'll become more resilient, more focused, and ready to face life's challenges head on. Don't underestimate the power of daily exercise. It's not just about building a better body. Number three, question after question. After you've developed your mental discipline, gained mental clarity through daily exercise, and adopted a whole foods diet, it's time to take a practical approach to solving the problem. The key is to solve one problem at a time. Trying to conquer everything at once often leads to overwhelm and procrastination. To solve this problem, write down a task the night before, and if it's a complex problem, break it down into manageable steps. Starting your day with clear goals can improve focus and productivity. It's important to understand that solving a problem is not about solving the most important tasks first. It's about continuous improvement. Small conscious steps lead to huge success. By setting yourself challenges every day, you'll stay motivated and steadily move closer to your goals. Remember, life is a journey and you are the master of your destiny. Number four, eating habits play a pivotal role in a man's ability to conquer life's challenges. It's time to stop consuming junk and start embracing natural foods. As men, we're not children or individuals prone to hormonal mood swings. We eat with intention. The foods we choose directly impact our future, both mentally and physically. When you indulge in processed, unhealthy foods, your body and mind become preoccupied with processing these empty calories. This diminishes your mental sharpness and problem-solving abilities. However, hunger, when harnessed as a superpower, can enhance your productivity. Working while fasting can make you significantly sharper, enabling you to tackle problems effectively. Furthermore, when you do eat, opt for natural, nutrient-rich foods. Balance is the key with around 80% of your nutrition comprising these natural foods that fuel your body and mind. The remaining 20% can be reserved for occasional treats, but always make conscious choices rather than succumbing to bad habits. Fasting teaches you to appreciate the taste and benefits of real wholesome food, diminishing your cravings for unhealthy snacks. Remember, a well-nourished body is better equipped to handle life's challenges. Number five, make money making money is an important aspect of being a truly manly man while it's true that money can't buy happiness it does remove the financial burden that's weighing you down in a world ruled by money a lack of financial stability leaves you powerless it's important to think of making money as one of your primary responsibilities as a provider some people deflect their financial difficulties by claiming that money is the root of all evil or that money does not bring happiness. However, these are merely coping mechanisms to justify their own fiscal deficits. Don't fall into this trap. Instead, face it. Mastering the art of making money is critical to your personal growth. Remember, it's never too late to learn something new and improve your financial situation. By subscribing to our channel, you will receive valuable information and strategies to help you on the path to financial success. 
In the future, money might not be everything, but it's a tool that can empower you to lead a more fulfilling life. Continue to forge your path with these habits as your steadfast allies, and may you thrive in the face of adversity. If you found this video valuable, please show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. By doing so, you'll stay connected with us for more insightful content that will help you level up in life.